Hi St Dives Toastmasters, hope you're having a great time at the Gab Fest tonight. I'm sorry I couldn't be there but I prepared this video for you as an overview of my trip to Las Vegas. It was truly an amazing experience. I was asked by Sue Gork of the Speakers Training Camp to go over and help her with her a trade show at the Toastmasters convention. I was just tickle pink because I never ever thought that I'd actually get over there to see the Toastmasters World Champion of Public Speaking competition. So it was amazing. I had a few days beforehand and got to see the Grand Canyon which is just an incredible experience and then we set up the trade table for the speakers training camp and were there the Wednesday, Thursday and Friday and Saturday morning and then the competition, the world champion of public speaking was on the Saturday afternoon. There were 10 speakers and going up on that Wednesday, Thursday and Friday were the semi-finals. Uh, we both got to see some of those semi-finals which was a real treat because the competition was so amazing and then uh, to see the championship was an experience uh, again that I never ever thought I'd see. Las Vegas is the most incredible city. It is just huge and it just keeps giving and giving and there are all these Italian-esque type buildings uh, that uh, are really as just beautiful in, in, a main, in the middle of this desert. But the public speaking was the key and the world champion of public speaking was amazing. There was a number two speaker was Patrick Hammond. He was from District 1, uh, Los Angeles uh, Toastmasters and he spoke on child prostitution, a very big topic and uh, the incredible thing was that he was only in Toastmasters for six months and he actually got to the, the championship. His speech was powerful uh, and one that I will always remember. Then came the, uh, the next speakers. Each of them were incredible. Uh, but speaker eight, Manu, speaker nine, Aditya, and then Muhammad was speaker number 10. And they were amazing. Um, it truly was really hard to pick pick which which speaker was going to to win and uh, each had it their own own uh, gifts at the presentation Manoj he really spoke from the heart and he was very generous in his presentation he actually lives in Singapore and is a presentation skills coach Aditya I got to meet at the end and very nice I think he's from Sri Lanka and a very very nice quite young gentleman and then Muhammad was just uh, overcome I think by all the all the attention uh, the the special thing about his presentation was when they were handing out the, the participation certificates they told he told the audience that he he was mute until the age of six now that is just so incredible he must be about in his mid 30s to early 40s and he, he has overcome the most incredible uh, uh, impediment for a public speaker to be mute in the in the most developmental stages of his life so I thanked him when I got to meet him and said that that his uh, sharing that story really made his winning even more special uh, because we we understand the background bet behind what he's gone through to win so I hope and I'm sure you did enjoy the three uh, speeches that these incredible public speakers 
delivered. They all were cr incredible. Los, An um, Los Angeles, Las Vegas was amazing. If you ever get to go there and stay at Caesar's Palace, it was an absolute uh, gem. Uh, it's it's the most beautiful hotel, so huge, it's amazing. And if you get the opportunity to attend a Toastmasters International Convention, I highly recommend it. If you have a bucket list, I'd put that at the top. It is the most amazing experience and I'm thrilled that I was able to go and I do hope that you enjoyed the presentations today.